Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to send this request with uh, Java without any external dependencies. So I would like to send a JSON or posting a JSON via HTTP uh, without any external libraries. So for this purpose, I would like to run, run first a backend. This is like a fake uh, backend, it's called Mockend, available from my GitHub account. And what I also would like to do just to test it seems to work. And now let's replicate this with Java. So uh, for this purpose, I would like to start a Java 16 project. And also this quick start is available. Um, you can just clone the entire project. And now let's call it HTTP. So the project is created. So let's take a look what's inside. It's just an empty Java 16 and um, unit test. And uh, what we can do with the multi-line string, we can absolutely send a JSON with that. So let's do this. And we don't have to escape anything because of the raw strings feature. So we can say, I would like to have a message, hello Duke. So, um, and this is not JSON, so we, message hello duke and then we can start with the uri so first i will need the uri and the uri is uh was um http slash slash uh, localhost 8080 crud crud and uh, this is basically it we only have to import the uri and then uh we also need to throw an exception and then we can start with the client so now the client http client we don't uh, need to just import that and then i can immediately can create my http client my hd so we don't need the message here my new http client and remember the client var client so we have it now, if I have a client, I can already send a request. So if we take a look on that, so there is an HTTP request in the body handler. Now, uh, the request here, uh, let's implement it later, but the body handler, we don't care about the body this time, body handlers. So I say, okay, I just would like to have the discarding body handler. So, um, and now about the request. So discarding means uh, just forget about the uh, body and uh, I would like to have the response now. So now what about the request? So the request, HTTP request, request, we need the new builder again, new builder, new builder. And then what we need is a header and the header is going to be, or first, what we don't need the header, we have to say, I would like to post something. So, and with posting, I need a header. And the header is, uh, was content type, and then uh, application JSON. So, and in the end, I have to say build. And this is my request. So um, let's see, this is equals. So, and what happens now, I need here, the post cannot be empty because I would like to send something. And for that, I need the body publisher, publisher. So uh, body publishers is like the set of publisher. Yeah, set of publishers. And um, I just uh, would like to say uh, of string and the string is the message. So let's use the string from the message. And the only thing is we need here to import that. And I think we done, except there are some exceptions still. So there are the exceptions, I get the response. And the URI is not used because we have to use the URI here in the client, URI. So now the client is um, instantiated. Uh, sorry, not the client rather than the builder. So, um, so we have to pass the URI to the HTTP request and the client um, does not need the URI. So now we have it. The response, so what do you can do with the response? Um, asset equals 
now let's use some unit test features i can say i would like to have 201 response so this is this 201 response and with that um, i can also ask now the response for the headers and they're all the headers and i would like to have the first value of the header named location and what i get back is the optional so i need the get or an arrow which is fine because we are in a unit test var um let's say location header equals and then system out out print line and go ahead and take a look on the header location header perfect so let's see whether it's working so run the test and see what happens so now we got an error why that it says expected uh, expected 201 but was um huh but was 201 so something went wrong and of course what i forgot here response dot status uh, code code so now let's see what happens and now everything seems to be green because we even got the header back so um and the header says a new entry was created with this id so if we repeat that it should be successful again so thank you for watching see you at upcoming conferences airhex live or even projects bye